Welcome to another mini video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to work with HSL adjustment layers to create a dynamic recoloring of a symbol. I start with the symbol, a simple vector shape given a colored outline with high saturation and I add an adjustment layer on top. I group the symbol because symbols act funny when you change the layering within the layer stack. I duplicate both the HSL adjustment layer and the symbol and then move the two to the top. I duplicate the process until I have a few but you can see the effect. Each time the HSL adjustment layer changes whatever is underneath. It looks nicer with a black fill and it changes all the symbols. Let's try this again with a 5% shift. The changes are a lot more subtle. This is a really quick way to color the strokes of these objects differently and the advantage is it is a symbol I color the stroke of one and all the others follow. Let's try and speed this up a little bit and place the HSL adjustment layer inside the group. That way I don't have to move it to the top and then just duplicate the group, rotate it and do the power duplicate Once I ungroup, the effect becomes visible. The effect of an HSL adjustment layer is constrained by the group or layer it is in. The advantage of the symbol is I can easily add to it. Now instead of having one musical symbol, I have a letter. You can do it with a monogram. Again, you can change the color easily and it will adjust the stroke colors of all the symbols underneath. The same works with a filled shape. The red heart is colored differently with each step by changing the position of the content of the symbol, the heart, instead of changing the position of the symbol, I can easily change the pattern. I can add a stroke and it will be added to all symbols. This is a really quick and fun way to play with colors. It comes with a downside though. Stacking a lot of HSL shifts on top of each other will make your machine work really hard. It is also a command unique to Affinity Designer, so exporting to other vector formats will cause issues. When you export to bitmaps, JPEG or PNG, this should not be a problem. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification icon, leave a like and let me know what you want to see on this channel or in my blog and I will see you again soon.